A normal is a line that's perpendicular at 90 degrees to the surface of any face, and they're really important. Blender is great at being forgiving and allowing you to continue working regardless of which way they are facing. However, not having your normals facing the right way can cause a ton of pain further down the line. Normals directly affect the shading of your model, and when they're wrong, can introduce horrible shading artifacts that can be difficult to diagnose. Incorrect normals can ruin many of the modifiers as they rely on this information. Take the subdivision surface modifier, for example. They can affect exporting models to a game engine. Suddenly half your model is invisible. They can ruin particle and hair simulations, 3D printing, etc. There are a few ways of seeing normals in Blender and we'll start by turning on back face culling. You can find this on the 3D viewport header bar under the shading dropdown. Once turned on, this will, like game engines will do by default, hide faces whose normal is not facing the viewer. This can be great with simple objects, but when you get more complex, you can use the face orientation option under the overlays dropdown. As you can see, you cannot really use both of these together. However, if we turn back face culling off, you will see that the faces that are the wrong way round will turn red. There is a final way to see the normals and that is in edit mode. This is something I rarely use. However, if you go over to the viewport overlays drop down and right down at the bottom, you'll find the normals option. Select the face toggle and extend the size to a length that's most useful to you. You can now prevent normals facing the wrong way whilst you're creating the geometry itself. And there you go. If you want to find out more how to fix normals, then why don't you check out this video here?